Nova can always <clears throat> Nova can always tell when I'm about to start recording. Like, okay, I'm gonna come over and cuddle you, and then I'm gonna get ready to leave. Okay, you're, you're fine with this? With this? Okay. I'm gonna lean back. So Nova has room to sit on my lap. Alright. Yep, yep. EAC is disabled. <clears throat> Alright, and we are... Where did we leave off? Oh yeah, we just kind of left off here. I didn't really have a particular plan on what to do next. So, we've taken out the Hound. Felt good about that. I've been wanting to check out this island here. Like, is there a way to get across there? A second. Alright, <clears throat> that was my Discord. Sorry about that. I've got it disabled now, on, so I don't get notifications. Alright, so, yeah, what do I want to do? I want to check out that island. There's probably not really a way for me to get across there. That might be something I get to later. Is how I'm feeling. That's how I feel about that. Or it could be an alternate path I just haven't really looked at. Alright, let's check it out. Is this it? Where's the marker? Okay, I must have accidentally placed a marker there. Okay, the most narrow passage is there. Okay, so this is the island. Hmm. I don't see anything that'll take me across. I mean, it'd be excellent if I could, like, grab a bird like a cuckoo in From Zelda. Just kind of glide across. But I don't think this game's gonna let me do that. All right. Okay, we made it down there. What's in under here? Oh, the shopkeeper. <laughs> For a second, I thought that was going to be someone hostile. What do you need? I don't want any trouble. Well, I'll give you trouble. Neutralizing yep, boluses. Oh, I can eat these. These would be useful. He's only got five. They're expensive. Okay, I'm going to take one. Yeah, I'm just going to take that one. What does this do? Firebone arrow? That sounds really good. Broadsword, club, shortbow, arrow, iron round shield. 
I played through a fair bit with that. Stone digger trolls. Land squirts. Uh, let's get. Stone digger trolls sound more. They sound more threatening, so. With that, purchase arrow. And be on our way. Yes. All right, so now, how do we get across here? I'm wondering if there's a bridge that's kind of like hidden under the water. Uh, no, I'm guessing not. Because if there was, it'd probably be right here. Hmm. This map is cut off right at the edge. I wonder if there's, like, another passage that way. It's on... Not quite, but almost the other side of the island, from where I'm standing. Go down here. What was that? Did I smash something? Yeah, I must have smashed something. Okay, let's go this way. What are you? Are you a land squirt? Oh, you're like an old school slime from DS1. You're a lot hairier and bonier than the ones I remember, though. Ooh. Uh. Gotcha. What'd you drop for me? Hefty beast bone. Interesting. As opposed to the thin ones that I've been picking up. <sighs> Same attack animations and everything. Interesting. Oh, we got some friends. Okay, well. Nope. Oh, uh, are they going to come back to life? They're going to come back to life. I'm not going to bother trying to fight you. Gold foul foot. No. Yeah, because I could just keep on attacking and... Actually, will I kill you on the second kill? Will you stay dead on the second try? Because I think that was a thing in one of them. No. Oh, okay. You have to k kill their corpse. Okay, so does this is doable.
Got a cool hat. I want that hat. Oh, I don't get to keep the hat. Shame. Anyway, so it doesn't appear that there's a way to cross that island, so let's go up here. Oh, interesting. Here, you know what? Roa Raisin. There we go. Nice. Alright, let's try this again. That hurt. The fact that you have an item to heal your horse means I should probably avoid letting my horse get hurt. Woo! That's awesome. That is, that's just awesome. Okay, so we're in low FPS town. There's the knight. Let's take another crack at him. What is my... Okay, my runes are relatively low. So I don't mind it if I die. Get a little bit of raisin. Oh, he didn't eat it. There we go. Dang it. Okay. I guess I could have expected that to happen. It does kind of kill the mood when the glitches cause your horse to go invisible. Maybe I'll save that fight for later. Actually, what I should do is see if there's any updates to bug fixes. Bear with me for a moment. Community, no. News. Where's the news? Okay. The invisible enemies mega thread that I've been subscribed to has 113. I guess the mod can't be used while playing it. Oh, there's a mod. Invisible enemy mod fixes not only my made my enemies visible, but also improved performance a lot. No FPS drops. That's from 15 hours ago, so apparently there's a mod. Hmm. All right. Well, so there is a way for me to fix that. <clears throat> there is a mod, apparently. I was kind of waiting on something a little more official, but hey, if there's a mod that I can download and I have EAC installed anyway, so I'm not online, it's like, might as well try that. We'll do that. We'll do that later, though. I'm not going to do that right now. Excuse me. So we still got more stuff to explore here. I feel like there's more things I could look at over on this side. There's a road leading up north. 
Let's check that out. I'm just running past you. I just need to grab my runes. Oh, well, I missed them. I guess I can't pick them up while I'm dashing. Whoa. Is he still following me? Doesn't appear so. on this random soldier. Ah, uh, I can't hit his head over the shield. There we go. That makes me feel a little better. Bats will show up here, so I don't want to hang around here for too long. What's this message? Chamber lies under the ruins. Interesting. That's actually a useful message. Because there's the Dragonburnt ruins. Or whatever it's called. Dragonburnt Keep. That has a chamber underneath, underneath it. That guy just saw me, didn't he? Maybe not. Hard to tell when I can't see him. Did I get spotted? That guy is safe to kill. There's a guy that comes around this corner here. Oh, we're fine. I got something in my eye. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I see. All right. Wolfie, you gonna come after me next? There you go. No, oh, I feel bad. Oh, here's the ruin, or here's the secret chamber. Unless there's more than one entrance. Is this going to teleport me away like the other chest did? It probably will. <laughs> I get the feeling. I get the feeling. The game wanted me to find that message, so... Oh. No. Ash of War. Storms. Stomp. Oh, nice. That stone knife. That stone knife. How does that compare to... Wait, where is it? A key item, isn't it? Can add new battle arts and affinities to weapons. 
whetstone with cipher inscription made it to look like a small knife blade. Allows the use of ashes of war at a site of grace to bestow new battle arts and affinities to armaments as skills. The battle arts and affinities will depend on the ashes of war used. Ah, okay. So, does that mean it just allows me to do it myself? I guess that's kind of cool. I guess that could be useful because I might not have found the round table by now. No, oh, he is still alive. Okay, no, that didn't work out. And I got a phone call. So I will be right back.
All right, we are back. Now, yeah, let's go stake stake of Mar Marica. Hey, Rainer. You wanna you wanna come? Oh, I got ya! I got ya! You don't get a choice anymore. You don't get a choice anymore. Okay, I'll let you go. He wasn't ready. Cooperate is your objective. Okay, should I go back for those runes? I don't think I had very many. Ah, uh, way too early. Way too early. Okay. Ooh, new gauntlets. Let's try those. We're still in the medium range. Those Godric, yeah, those are Godric really Greaves. All right, so I got what I needed from this runes. I think let's just get those runes, the runes from the ruins. I didn't even notice me. Can we sit down? Yes. Cool. Peg Humphrey. I don't have enough to level up, but I do have Ashes War. Let's check check this out. Can we do the stomp? Okay, so we can undo enhancement so that we got our base flail back. This does improve the scaling on both dex and strength. <laughs> For that reason, oh, it's a quality build. Okay, nice. So it's good for me until I get a dex one, but I mean, oh, let the base damage go down. Oh, now you want to cuddle, huh? Now you're up for a cuddle. Is that what I'm seeing? Is that what I'm hearing? Oh, well, is that what I'm hearing? So, the base damage does go down. That's the trade-off. And the amount that it goes down it is not... It's more than what the bonus is compensating for. More than what this... this can I do it? I have to be a. Do I have to have infin affinity? I'm wondering if I was just better off with the magic flail. Kind of like having gravitas. So let's do that. I like the idea of doing an early game build, bumping up my intelligence maybe, 
so I can make better use of that intelligence scaling for my magic flail. This is Gravitas now, right? Yes, it is. What's she doing? What's she doing? Alright, so Rainer's sitting on my lap. Should we go back to Stormvale? I think we should. I mean, there's probably more that I haven't explored there yet. I just... I was kind of hitting a wall. Those Stormhawks were pissing me off. And by the time I get through them, I'm lower on health. Too low on health to deal with what's after, so... See? How are we for smithing stones? I could upgrade my bow at least once. Maybe that's what I'll do, actually. We'll come back here in a moment. Round table hold. No, oh, wrong way. Hey, John Snow. Well, what to do for you, my matter? It's all as I had your arms set. And strengthen bow. I wonder what we get out of strengthening the sh shield. Improves the attack, which is basically non-existent. Improves the dex scaling, which is only for the attack, really. Doesn't give you any other benefits. Doesn't improve damage negation, which is what you would expect would be improved by upgrading a shield. This might be the sort of thing where it's just not worth it to upgrade a shield. Can we upgrade armor? Is there any armor upgrading? Kinda of wondering now. Because in DS3, armor upgrading was basically pointless. Am I thinking of DS1? I don't know. One or the other. Either way. We have an upgraded bow. Our tower. It's probably not enough to one-shot those Stormhawks, but we're a step in the right direction. What are you doing, Rainer? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> the way the flail just kind of dangles off my head. It's funny. Ooh. Yeah. Not a one hit. No. Let's see. I messed up because I went to change my healing flask and something I had set up on Dark Souls 3 was making it so tapping the center of the d-pad on my Steam controller, which is, you know, a touchpad, automatically sets it to whatever is in the first slot, which is usually my healing flask. Which is funny because it's been a while since I've played DS3. Like, it hasn't... Like, I mean, I tried playing it a few times not too long ago, but I didn't really try re like, seriously. And I'm pretty sure I did not have, like, middle of left touchpad to do that. As in my muscle memory. Will this kill him if I use my sleep arrow? No, it won't. Ah, 
Ah, uh, didn't knock him out of the air. It's a shame. I'm going to save the rest of my sleep arrows. Gotcha. Should probably heal. Gotcha. While you were turning around. I need more arrows. I need to just farm some runes for a little while and then just mass buy a whole bunch of arrows so I never have to run worry about running out. I need to start crafting bone arrows too. I imagine the bone arrows are weaker than normal arrows. Which is fine for situations where I just want to take pot shots. Okay. Over here. That dude's still sitting here? No, nope, he's gone. That armored knight is there. There's this stuff over here. Alright. I will give you some attention, cat. Just for a brief moment while I figure this out. You can kind of see the layout of the place on the map. It's, like, it seems like I want to go here and then take this path up. How do I get there, though? Hey, cat, why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? Oh, now, oh, now the teeth are coming out. All right. Sorry, buddy. We're not, we're not playing with teeth today. No biting. All right, yeah, so. That seems to be a way down. Is that? Actually, yeah, that is. Number three. What is the number one set to? Oh, it's set to the island. So that is the main gate that I have marked. What is this then? That must be coming up from the main gate. It's just one of the paths. There's that door over there too. I wonder if I can trick this knight into coming up here and attacking. I can't aim that low. Yeah, that's right. Come on up. Nope. Max 
backstab. Heal. Ooh, he gets up quick. Ah. Uh, I shouldn't have just backed up. I should have sidestepped that one. Okay. Well, that happened. Okay. Okay, then. All right, well, let's try this again. Got you. Mm hmm. You, you dropped something. You did too. I will pillage your corpse. Aha! Ah, I could have. Ah, I took a hit. That's not too bad, though. I'm getting used to them. Getting used to dealing with them. Alright, this guy's here. still here. Anything new? Still has the magic battle arts. Why do they have to call them Ashes of War? That just seems like... It doesn't seem like the best name they could have gone with. Okay. So, Nighty Boy is down this way. Oh yeah, and my runes. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna take out the red cloaked guy first, after they turn around. Yeah. Yep, come up. Yeah. Turn around. There we go. Gotcha. I was a little bit lucky, seeing as how he was invisible. Fucking right. Ah, I should have switched my dagger. Oh well. Ah, he managed to- I had him. I tricked myself with the parry spam, thinking I was still safe. I was not safe. <laughs> Back to this again. I'm gonna just take them in three shots. I 
need to buy some more arrows after this one, though. Ah, too early. God damn it. I had an easier time with it last time. Do I even need to kill this one? Yeah, I need to I need to kill yeah, because he's th tries to ambush me. If I don't. He th tries to throw an explosive barrel at me. Past my shield. Oh, come on. Finally. The jumping attacks. The jump jumping heavy attacks are way too slow. Pretty much need to. Okay, yeah, that's most of my healing right there. Let's see how far I can get. Maybe I can just get my ashes and then go back for arrows. My, not my ashes, my ruins. If I run past these guys, will I get anything special? See ya's. Wait, where do I go next? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. This is a- this was a bad idea. Oof. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Let's just go somewhere a little safer and teleport away. Do you have ranged attacks? It does not seem so. Your buddy might, though. So I'm not gonna hang around. Oh. Can't use my map yet. There we go. <laughs> Panic mark. <laughs> Alright, so we'll leave two and three there. Let's go buy some arrows. Church of Ella. Give me Ella your arrows. Purchase. Ella, your arrows. <laughs> no, that's it. That's all I got. Alright, so yeah, what is the deal with the cracked pot? That is probably something I should invest. So do I only have one of these fire pots? Is that what that means? I mean, I'm assuming it's like the fire bombs from Dark Souls. They're strong, but not so strong that you want to save them for the butt up. Like, having one fire pot isn't going to, like, make or break a boss encounter or something like that.
he takes out this random schmuck, half of this random schmuck's head health. Ooh, Lord Sworn's great straight sword. I got one of those already, don't I? I got a smithing stone out of that too. Nice. That's actually really good. Can I just farm these guys for smithing stones? Because if so, that's the bomb. multiple of these dudes sitting at campfires. Through resin. Bolts. Oh, hello. There we go. I flubbed the first couple of parries on that one. Not my finest work. <laughs> Die, dear. There's a boar. I'll let you live, boar. You're smart enough to run away. I was originally, like, before I got sidetracked, I was originally going to go over this way. So maybe let's just go check that out. It's a chest high wall. Did I go to this one already? I did not go to this one. This is a new one. They really just put these things all over the place, don't they? Almost seems kind of weird whenever you don't find one. Well, this looks familiar. Examine. Godric the Golden, humiliated, having tasted defeat by the blade of Makula, now on his knees begging for mercy. Well, that's quite a monument. Wait. It said Godwin the Golden. No, Godric the Golden. So is it Godwin? Wait, yeah. Who's who? Let me check. Godric the Grafted. Wait. Godric the Golden. So is Godric the Golden and Godric the Grafted the same person? Or is it like somebody else killed Godric and took his limbs or whatever and then became Godric the Gat Grafted? Is the blade Michaela? Is the blade Michaela actually Godric the Grafted? I don't know. I'm spitballing here. There's probably an answer. I just don't have it within my grasp. Anyway, I'm going straight to this. With this structure. Oh, okay, this is just flip turned upside down. Is there a friend over here? No, there's not. <laughs> I was thinking there'd be a shopkeeper there. A wandering merchant. Okay, well, it's no good if I can't see you, so I'm leaving. Okay, come on. Okay. FPS is back. Oh, there's a big guy. What 
what's with that noise? Ooh, there's a lot of giants. Oh, this is Stormhill, so that's why I'm hearing lightning. I'm going to avoid those giants. Might be a good idea. Oh, hey. There's another one of these dudes. Is he pointing me out to another set of catacombs? Here. I'm wondering, because I saw one of these statues at the other cat catacombs that I already defeated. I wonder if this is also catacombs. Ah, it is pointing something out. Oh, and there's another dead guy here. Unthinkable. Our hallowed resting place is violated. To refuse the Erd Tree's call to return. To live within death. Sinkening. Okay. Is there another Erd Tree guardian? At a set of roots or something down here? Is that what we're gonna see? Death touched catacombs. And are we going to deal with imps again, or is this going to be something new? Lots of skeletons. Okay. Root resin. I don't know why I bother with a summoning ghoul, because I'm not online. Well, we got skeletons. Flail. Flail is probably the perfect weapon for these guys, too. Yeah. As in typical Dark Souls games, skeletons are weak against bludgeoning at, um, weapons. Or striking weapons is what they're referred to as. And this is a strike weapon. Oh, hello. All right. We're having fun. We're having loads of fun. Ooh, brave glow fork. There is another skeleton that is probably... There's this one I already killed. Nope, it is not one I already killed. Yeah, the over overhead slam is just overpowered. There we go. I'm gonna need a torch in here, aren't I? We're gonna need a torch. Oh, when you put away your torch, it yeah, that makes sense. Okay, you're waking up. 
you probably got buddies that are going to wake up after I pass by them, so I'm going to lure you up here. How do you like them apples, huh? You can play at that game. The positioning game. There we go. Pick up item, smoldering butterfly. No. Oh. I felt like this one was going to come to life. It probably might. It might still come to life. There's another one here. Hey, buddy. Heck yeah. Okay. So I have to wait for the blue flame to appear. Ooh, let's not get killed. Ooh. <laughs> okay, the panic roll. Yeah. Jumping on the stairs kind of messes you up. If you have an enemy that is likely to roll underneath you and get past you that way. So, if I walk away... These two behind me are going to wake up, aren't they? Oh, fuck me. moves his head every time. Okay, I'm gonna back up and heal. That's not a winning strategy, what I was doing just there. Okay, let's go back here. I'm very paranoid about these two waking up. There we go. Nice. There are some skeleton pieces here, but I don't think they will wake up. Blood Rose. That's new. We got three of them. Okay, so there's another skeleton up to the side there. Is this the... No, that's not a thing to pick up. This is, though. <laughs> Serpentine. Oh, there's stuff to pick up up there, too. Hey! Did you fall down? Because you're on the ground floor now. How do you get Oh, there's multiple. Okay. So the... Ow! There's two of them up there, at least, anyway. Can you shoot me from over here? It'd be annoying if you shot me while I was using the lever. Somewhere a heavy door has opened. Ooh.
Now, if I go through this door, will that put me out somewhere where I can attack those two? Possibly not. At least, maybe not right away. Let's, let's go back to the... Back to the grace. Oh, no, we got a boss right here. All right. I will be right back. One hour. Seven. All right, we're back. All right, well, boss time. Let's put away the torch. I don't think I need it. <clears throat> Heavy load. Well, we want to stay medium. All right, well, we don't know what we're up against. Got lots of arrows, though. All right. Black Knife Assassin also already partially damaged.
Okay, no, that's a not parry. Oof. Okay, he's got reach with that. I keep on trying to parry, but it's not working. Also, it's incredibly dark here. But I mean... Okay. It's okay. We got some stuff to figure out here. Ah, uh, you know what? I should have used those runes to buy arrows. Oh, well, whatever. That's what I should do. Whenever I see a boss door, instead of going straight in, I should be like, hmm, can I use these runes to buy arrows? Yes or no? Excuse me. Because arrows are something I'm always kind of running out on. So rather than letting runes go to waste, I might as well use them to buy some arrows. Is there glowstone? Inventory... So, no, this is not what I want. It emits a faint light from the location it's placed. I haven't actually tested the, the glowstones out, so let's just try that. Maybe, maybe it'll provide enough light. Okay. Yeah, that's decent light. Oh, I didn't mean to use it twice. Now, I wonder if the glowstones actually, like, that's a bright enough light. I wonder if it's effective against some enemies that are, don't like the light. Yeah. Good damage, good damage. Okay, this is doable. you See, that attack has some range. Come on, come on. Ooh, light went out. Nope, can't parry that. Alright, you know what? I'm just going in for the kill. No, I'm getting impatient. Okay, I guess I shouldn't do that. There we go. That's the stylish ending I wanted. Assassin's Crimson Dagger. That looked like a pretty gnarly dagger he had. Cool. So... 
We got some more tree roots here. Is there anything else in this area? That's like, you know, worth investigating? <laughs> oh, hey, treasure chest. Check that out. Death root. Excellent. What is death root? What does death root do? It's a crafting material. Did I miss it? Death root. Beast clergyman. A source that gives rise to those who live in death. The beast clergyman, found at a bestial sanctum in the distant east, collects and devours these roots. On the night of the dire plot, the stolen rune of death enabled the first death of a demigod. Later, the rune of death spread across the lands between, through the underground roots of the great tree, sprouting in the form of death root. Okay. So there's some... There's definitely some Dark Souls type lore building. There's a death rune. Is there also a light rune? And a dark rune? Ah, we will return to entrance. I think we've accomplished what we what we could here. Although there's that one spot the skeletons were skeleton archers were standing. You know what? Let's take a closer look at that. Level up. Yeah, you know what? Let's go in up with int. Then maybe later we can also get some sorceries. There we go. Oh, came back to life, didn't you? You know what? I've decided I don't want to. I don't want to deal with these skeletons anymore. There we go. Sight of lost grace. Ah. I don't think we got any new Ash this war, did we? No, nothing, nothing we can use at least anyway. To live within death. So the death rune affected the great tree roots that are like create a network. So basically the death rune is like a vir a computer virus. Anyway, I'm just going to wander around a little bit. I don't have a particular goal in mind. It is 11:49. Actually, I need to cancel alarm. cancel a alarm that I had set. All right. Yeah. You can't you can't do horseback archery. Oh, okay. You can. Oh, 
Hello. Sorry, I keep on getting text messages. What is this? Is this another golem? Oh, it is another golem! Hi. I'm going to assume you're not friendly. At least you don't have a bow and arrow like the other one. Gotcha. These golems are punks. Holy. They look big and scary, but they're just punks. They ain't shit. They don't even drop that many runes. Alright. Yeah, look at these crazy ancient mechanical things that... They look like they're from Breath of the Wild. They look like the same thing almost. They look they look like those ancient robot dudes from Breath of the Wild. Just half buried in the ground. Alright. Lance Talisman. Okay. Acquire materials. Herba. Herba. What's over here? Just a big cliff. Big bunch of nothing. So. This leads to a crazy tower thing. I kind of want to see how to get up there. But. Probably not. Actually, no. I was going to say, yeah, these are not connected properly. This is not connected properly either. Interesting. So I could climb up. Could potentially climb up this giant, up to the giant bridge up above, but doesn't mean I can travel all the way to the end they're disconnected in, in lots of different parts, it looks like. Okay, that is... Yeah, I was there already. So yeah, those statues definitely point out catacombs. The statues are easy to find, but the catacombs are not. Oh hey! There's one of those guys. Is there another... Is there another hyper jail nearby? What you doing, huh? Oof. Chain draped tabard. That's pretty good. Alright, so. 
I've got one of those. Okay, where did that... Okay, there's that stone worm dude. Tinged extrant. So yeah, where is the jail? I heard a big roar. I don't see where it came from though. Whoa. That's a problem. Oh, is this gonna be like Miyazaki's thing where a giant wolf appears? It could be. And we got invisible enemies. Yeah, that's a regular wolf. Oh wow. They just kind of appear out of nowhere, don't they? There's this random shack here, and a site of Lost Grace. Well, that's handy. Someone, yeah, there's a campfire, and somebody's just hanging out there. Hello, War Master Shack. Why do I keep hearing a roar? Doesn't sound like a wolf roar either. I haven't seen you before. Tarnished, just like you. Oh, cool. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? Does your faith in the guidance of Grace hold firm, despite the collapse of the Golden Order? I don't know what either of those things mean, but sure, why not? Yes, you're a tarnished <laughs> through and through. Takes me back. But that's a quality needed now more than ever. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? All I know is the sword. Picked up a blade. Now's the time to pass them on. To a good and proper tarnished. Sure, I'll learn skill. Oh, so I have to pay for it. Is that what you're saying? Ooh, upward cut. That sounds like useful. Uh, let's see. Ash of War Kick. Can I just buy all of these? They'll all look pretty good. Spinning Slash. Swords, axes, and bull arms. It says hammers. Does that include flails? That's what I'd like to know. Not floating your well. There's no rush. Let us look at my current battle arts. So wild strikes is on axes and hammers, as well as curved swords and great swords, and that's on all medium swords, axes, and hammers. All right. So if it says axes and hammers, I'm going to I'm going to assume that also includes flails. So we can do this. Wait, how many runes do I have? I have nineteen hundred. Uppercut does sound pretty good, though. We can put Quick Step on anything now, too. That's kind of cool. 
quality, standard, standard, keen. So it's heavy. What's keen? I'm assuming, is keen dexterity based? Because if it is, then this might be the one I would need to get. Oh, you can turn any dagger into a parry dagger now. Nice. Fists, claws, and small arms, and medium shields. Oh, okay. That solves one of my biggest problems with fist weapons in DS3. Because as nice as poise is, I would rather be able to parry with my castus. So now you can do it this way. That is so good, actually. All right, so quick step. I could do quick step. I don't really want to do... Okay, impaling thrust. So not on the flail. This should work on the flail, though. Spinning slash. Let's try it. And we will... We'll get this, too, just because... Or, wait. You know what? Let's just get the parry. We'll have to come back to him later. Wait, he has more to say. There's a myriad of battle arts in these lands that I've yet to discover. Excuse me. Oh, so kind of like me in video games, then. Well. Oh, that sounds... Oh, I'm cringing at my, myself now. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Impose yourself, Wyden. Alright. Let's try this out. Because the main attraction was... Keen, I believe, will make my flail a dexterity flail. Oh, oh, no. Oh, what? Okay, we can put Spinning Slash on the sword, but not on the flail. Dang it. Wait. Parry is also keen. Do we want a parry flail? Is that even gonna work? No, I mean, I would see it here, wouldn't it? Wouldn't I? Magic. Wait, where's the sail? See, that seems better. Except it takes away my dexterity scaling. No, we're gonna have to stick with the magic for now. Shame. Wait. So it doesn't change anything, though. It already has parry on it. All it does is change its... Yeah. Mighty shot. I almost never use my blue flasks, so... Let's do that. So I was thinking swi switching from 5 to 1... 5, 1 to 4, 2 would be useful. Since I have the healing spell, but I have no way to cast the healing spell, so... It's kind of redundant. Okay, so let's figure out what's making that noise. Oh, it's these giants. And there's a bunch of them. They'll probably respawn if I try killing them. So there's probably no point in killing them if I want to just get rid of them, because they'll just keep coming back. Okay. Which means there's probably some giants in here, too. Uh, 
let's look around a little bit more. So this seems to be another way... Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, oh. Were you just waiting to ambush me? Is that what's happening here? Alright. God damn it. You are not the cool guy you think you are. I was busy looking at my map. Just had to come up and gank me while I was sitting on my horse. Actually, I wonder if I need to heal Torrent. Okay, full health. You do sometimes see the health bar on her. On him or her? Is Torrent... Is Torrent a boy or a girl? I suppose it doesn't really matter. Ooh, what's that? Another little shack? It's a fireplace. Oh, hello. You're alive. Everyone been grafted? Everyone who came is made. Across the sea for me, they fought for me. I would have their arms taken. Their legs taken. Even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know? You're grafted by the spider. You become a chrysalid. Quite a lark when you think about it. Yes, quite the lark. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. And Type 501 in the white mask, I suppose. Well, you've come to be one with the spider. Wow, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs. Or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. Okay. Oh, I know. Can you take this little one along with you? What? Spirit jellyfish asses. Interesting. Okay. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, tell them I'm finally getting the hang of oh. this whole tame thing, you know? I, I accidentally skipped part of that. Well, she's going through some shit. I'm probably going to end up killing those chrysalids, whatever they are. Village remains. Nice. Nice. So, is this an alternate way into Stormvale? Oh, I want to go up north. That's what I want to do. Haha. <laughs> Don't even really intend to fight them. I just wanted to mess with them. Is this the... S this isn't the same path I took before, is it? Is there a ballista at the top? There is a ballista at the top. God damn it. Kiss me off. Yeah, this is the same place. Oh, so that was just a 
little spot that I completely missed. Rune held 120. Oh, did I? Oh yeah, I, I don't think I had a lot of runes. Because that was after I bought from the Worm Master. But I didn't realize I had already taken this path going up here. Stormhill Shack. Hmm. Let's go back here. And go directly north. Because according to the road, according to the map, the road should allow me to do that. So we're no longer going directly north. Okay, yeah, there's a road continuing. Okay, this is what I was looking for. What's that? Is that a dude? Hi. You have no eyes. Show hands. Bless you. Oh. Head to the foundation of gold tarnished. Traverse Rhea Scaria. Glade stone even tide. Hmm. Why didn't I think of that? And be oh, shoot. Well, anyway, I'm gonna get going. Why that Castle still tall? I'm listening. Okay, just says the same thing. I want to see what's at the end of this road here. This is just a broken bridge. It is almost certainly a broken bridge. Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook 7. Is this the bridge she was just talking about? Glenstone Eventide? Is that what... This isn't a river, though. This is just, like, the edge of a... Doesn't matter. Alright. Well, we can go down here, actually. I hear a dung beetle. Gotcha. Ash of War, Stormwall. Nice, nice. Is that a dexterity based one? Oh. Oh no, it's Harry and Standard. Oh. This one's the only keen one I have. Well, that's disappointing, but oh well. Hmm. It looks like there's stuff down there. What 
Wait, what's the point of this area? Is this a cat? Oh, this is a cave. No, it's not. Never mind. It is a passage. It does okay, this is leading me somewhere. It does appear to be leading me somewhere. Man, exploring worlds like this is kind of addictive. This is what I loved about... One of the things I loved about Breath of the Wild is just wandering around and finding things. And finding se secret paths. Because you can basically just go anywhere and you never really know for sure if you're supposed to go there, but it kind of like doesn't really matter. Because nobody has to decide that except for you. Oh. Got you. Sorry, there are pups. I wasn't entirely sure that you wouldn't just attack me if I tried to pass by you normally. I didn't think I'd be able to sneak past you. of the lakes. For a second I thought that wolf just jumped right off the edge of the cliff, but... No, there's a little extra stepping stone there. Got you. you. You're kind of stuck there, aren't you? Running attack helps. Ooh, nice. Recovered some health. Recovered a heal, at least. And we just killed a bunch of wolves. Kind of wondering if I'm going to find another wolf up here. Where am I? Is this Stormvale? Yeah, this is still part of Stormvale. Here's a door. Haven't seen a sight of Lost Grace in a while. Ah, there we are. I felt like going, going into Stormvale before finding one of these would have been a bad idea. In case I happen to die. What is over here anyway? Let's... Take a quick look around. There's a ruined... Small ruined building over here. And there is what appears to be a graveyard. So we will likely find skeletons there. Yeah, this just looks like a burnt out church. There's a guy sitting down. He might be friendly. Or he might be the most evil man in the game. 
We'll find out. Oh. Church of Ereth. I don't see any soldiers wandering around, so I'm assuming that this guy's a good guy. Before I pick anything up, I'm going to talk to him. Just in case he gets pissed off. Ten runes is not a big deal. Ten souls is probably the cheapest I've spent on anything. Okay, let's study sorcery. Pebble, Ark, Starlight. I could do this one, I just don't have the souls for it. means he smokes weed. Alright. That's probably all he has to say. Well, enjoy your blunts. Ooh, sacred tear. That seems important. It seems very Im Oh, okay. It improves the potency. Okay, nice. Now, he's just going to chill out and smoke some weed, and we will see him later. I will probably give him a, a key. Because I'm a good guy like that. So to the north. Where is the north? That? Or that? I'm assuming that's real. Lucia, because that appears to be a bunch of crazy mountains over there. He's probably not talking about that. Although that looks kind of interesting as well. Uh, how much time do I have? I have a little while yet. I probably need to quit soon, though. Unfortunately, I have to work today. Ooh, I think I see something. Oh. It's one of those jails. Yeah. Just like the one I fought the hound at. Oof. Speaking of which, I saw one of those stone worm dudes wandering around near the worm master's house. Maybe I'll find another one over there. Yeah. 
this place is like there is there is some shit going on here. Anyway. We visited the site of Lost Grace. Let's find that door that I was about to go into. Yeah, here we are. Stormvale Castle. Shabriri Grape. What you have to say? You look like you're in a bad pose. Maiden, dear maiden, where are you? Please take my grapes. <laughs> okay, then. He's in an anguished pose. I don't know what else to call that. Maiden won't take his grapes, but I will. Maybe I'll put them to good use some other way. I'm not finding any guards or anything here. They just not hang out at this part of the castle? I'm way up north here. Okay, interesting. Is this Godric? This, I bet this is Godric's throne room or something. Why is... Like, is this not an important spot? I'm wondering why there's no security at all here. Or maybe it's been abandoned. There's still candles lit. Does that mean anything? It might not mean anything. And I cannot open this door, so... Is that it? Is this all, like, is there nothing I can do in here? No way. That seems silly. Unless this, this is just the sort of thing that's like they didn't expect people to go through here, but it's like, why would the door be open then? Is there actually no point to coming here? Am I too early? I can't even attack. So there must be something that this place is in, like... There must be some reason to be here at some point. Because the only time this has happened is in Round Table Hold. Okay, well, I'm just not supposed to be here yet, I guess. I was hoping to find a back entrance into Stormvale, but this doesn't really do me any good. Alright. So what's the, what's the deal with these grapes? Are the grapes the only reason to come here? Is it a key item? It is too. Yellow oozing eyeball of the infirm. <laughs> okay. Surface is shriveled. The inside is squishy, not unlike a large overly ripe grape. Give to the blind maiden to guide her to the distant light. 
Well, shit. Sure. Really? I mean... Was she just gonna pop it, in, pop it into her face? Bridge of Sacrifice. If she's still there. I'm assuming that she hasn't moved. Never delivered her letter for her. And she might not even take it. <sighs> Until after I delivered the letter. She might be on a one-track mind. She, yeah, she's on a one-track mind. Either that or it's referring to a different blind maiden. Because there might be more than one in this game. Uh, why did I do that? There is Castle Mount Morn Rampart. Castle Morn Lift. Where is her father? You know what? I kind of want to figure out where her father is. I didn't have a great experience in this place before because the enemies were turning invisible. But if I can sneak past them without engaging, that'd be cool. Alright, so deliver the letter and then try to give her the eye again. Unless the eye is like actually corrupts her or something like that. Which is always possible. It's a yellow oozing eye, so that might be a bad sign. Is there fighting happening? Okay, well. Dang it. Okay. That was that was me being stupid and just trying to see how far I could go. I could go that way. There's three wolves on me. That wasn't actually that bad. I'd probably I could have taken them if I had my play a little. Okay, my flail, my flail still has Gravitas on it. Oh, I have to remember to pop. Hey, put down the elevator after I take it up. Alright, so... We're just gonna, like, explore here for a little bit, see if we can find her father, and then figure out what to do next. Just thinking about it some more, I'm not sure if we want to give her that eyeball. Giving her the eyeball might be a bad thing. It might cause her to go crazy. Just the one wolf that time, huh? Okay. I was expecting more. But I'm fine with that too. Don't really want to fight that guy, even though I could take him. Ooh, hello. This guy's got freaky faces.
Okay, I was thinking there might be something underneath that tent. Does not appear that's the case. Oh, hello. I was not paying attention. God damn it. He just kind of like trotted up to me, and I didn't realize he was there until the last couple of steps away he was from me. Okay. We'll try that again. I think, I think that was successful. It's just I did a severe... There was a severe lapse in judgment on my part. Lack of observation. Do 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 do. Tap tap tap. There's at least two. Ooh. I did that way too early. Come on. I was running out of stamina there. That could have gone a lot better. Gotcha. I don't use quick step very often on this knife. I could just put the keen affinity on it, probably. I should check to see if I can. That'll boost the damage, at least a little bit. I don't think I have any affinities on the knife. Yeah, he was just running up. Ah. Switching to the knife was a little too slow there. So we got 20 FPS. Not the best. I have to look up... So normally I'd look down to reduce my FPS, but now I have to look up at the sky. There is one dude there. Oh, there's two dudes there. Ooh. Didn't want to be parried. And he's invisible now. It's funny. He's invisible, but I can see the arrows on him. Okay. That's another one there, too. Oh, fuck me. So there's another one that shot an arrow at me, and I couldn't even see that one. The hell? What is with this arrow? Okay, so that's, that's a hell of an arrow. I 
no longer see it. Let's take this guy. Now, is he going to run towards me? Oh. Where did that arrow come from? Oh, he has the arrows. I see. Oh, so you know what? That first arrow came from the guy I just killed. That's probably what happened. Alright. Yeah, you can't shoot me here. Man. Aerial archers. Almost a wonder that's not a thing that has appeared in the Dark Souls before. There's probably there's been some aerial enemies with ranged attacks, but not like an aerial archer. I'm pretty sure. Holy rune. fire over there. I'm going to assume whoever is sitting at that fire is not friendly. Oh, there's still soldiers fighting those beasties. And nobody is sitting at the fire. There's not even a sight of Lost Grace here. What's up with this spot? Ah, uh ha. -huh. <laughs> I see. Oh, but there's no easy... Oh, I have to go back there. Okay, well. A choice is made for me. So we're making some progress. Wait. Can I climb up here? I cannot. Dang it. Okay, well. I regret that. Well, at least now that it's activated, I can teleport back here. It's a shame I can't get back to the castle easily. Is there another way in here? There must be. There must be something. Aha. Uh -huh. There's a little tower there. Stone sword key, nice. I'm finding a lot of those now. I'm pretty sure I hear a dung beetle. There's a lot of these dudes just hanging out. I don't really feel like fighting this many of them at the same time. I'm kind of like, where else can I go at this point? I mean, I could teleport away. That is, I have to remind myself that is an option. So yeah. Are they scared? What are they doing? Are they praying? Does it hurt their ears? Okay. They're not hostile. Okay. Haha. -ha. I played Dark Souls 1. Fucking sewer level. You know you're a ghost. You don't have to stay in the cage. Or is the cage where you died? If those hideous mongrels eat me, I'll be forever marred. Anything but that, please. Think of the disgrace. Okay, well, I'm guessing they actually did eat you, so... 
a little late to worry about that now. So what's the deal? Are these guys being hurt by the noise? Is that what's happening? No. The noise is actually a dung beetle down there. God damn it. Okay, this one this one's a tough one. He looks like the blacksmith though. I didn't realize these guys are the same race as the blacksmith. Just some of them have wings and some of them don't. For some reason. Whoa, okay. Well, these guys, these guys for some reason don't want to fight. Just that one up here does. Oh, he noticed me. He has some slow attacks that are very good at predicting what I was supposed to what I was going to do next. Dun dun dun. dun. Whee. There we go. Is this yeah, that's just the same room I was already in. And slime. So yeah, these guys don't care about me. They're too busy in pain of some type, possibly. Let's see if I can sneak up, sneak up on this guy. No, he sees me no matter what. Okay, that's a bad way to go. This guy has a lot of health, too. Fucking right. Bleed damage is great. Gotta find out what's at the top of this tower, though. It's a treasure chest. I hear something happening, but I don't think it's that close to me. It's probably more of those dudes chopping up bodies. They seem to like to do that. Twin blade talisman. That looks... that sounds cool. Enhances final hit of chain attacks. Okay, this is the Darth Maul talisman. Enhances the final hit ending a chain of attacks. The Twin Blade technique is a tradition of the Confessors, who closely guard the secret of how they preserve the momentum of their attacks. Thus is the final strike of their onslaught all the more deadly. Enhances attacks while on horseback. Okay. I think those are all good. I don't think there's an inside to this 
little tower thing. I think I think I got my reward. Whatever it's worth. Let's check out what's below here. Is that dung beetle here? Yes, it is. Okay. I got a heal. I don't think I needed one, but I got one. No, I must have. Okay, it must have healed me. Which is good. I mean, that's kind of cool. Because I definitely took at least one or two hits from that dude up above. So now I'm here. Where do I go next? Just this way? And we'll check out whatever this is. The jellyfish farm. That's a boss arena. I mean, that's that's just clearly a boss arena. Might as well have a neon sign that says boss arena out front. Smithing Stone 2. Sequel to Smithing Stone 1. So I'm falling into this situation, and I don't know what I'm gonna find. There's a couple of rats, there's one of those dudes. He seems to be cowering, like the ones up above. Maybe I'll focus on the rats. Just need a rat to get a little closer. There we go. God damn it. If it was just the one rat, I wouldn't have had a problem. But the fact that there's three rats right on me. I wasn't prepared for that. Okay. Let's try this again. We'll go down the same path. Possibly get our runes back. Not the end of the world if we don't, but it would be nice. I get from that? I don't even get any runes out of it. Is it like a random drop? Or does it only count as dead when, you know, I get something out of it? Is it a... This could be both. That's what I'm trying to say. Is there another way down from... Okay. Rocker. Well, so much for those runes. I think that was one and a half grand, maybe. Not a huge amount, but not a tiny amount either. I think I need 2,000 to level up. Is there another way down this way? There. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with these guys. If I attack one, do they fight back? Oof. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, they fight back.
Only the one, though. They don't make it a group effort. I notice if you don't attack them for a little bit, they make a little dong sound. I wonder if maybe that meant the reward went away. But I didn't hear it that time, so... All zero of my runes. Ooh, okay. Well, that's a death. That's embarrassing. I'm not even sure why I'm trying to go down here, but if I check out that little tower and find out that the, the Maiden's father isn't there, then that kind of counts as progress, I think. Maybe. Taking this run again. Okay. See, that was the most effective way of killing it, and I still didn't get anything out of it, so it's not a timer-based thing. Yeah, once I get into this spot, there's only one way to get down. Unless... Yeah, I could do this. Can I? No, I cannot. Oh, I could do that. Okay. Except there's no way down this way. Hmm. Possibly. Nope. Worth a try. I could have gone to this ledge over here. That's a little bit higher up. I might have survived that fall. Alright. See, I can survive that fall. That's not a big deal. I'm not even gonna bother- well, I feel like I should bother with the Dung Beetle anyway. Okay, so alternate path down. Still looking for one. So I need to. Do... Damn it! Okay. I don't think I had any runes there. Alright. Primary way down. Let's do that. And when we get close to the bottom, we will go towards the front door. We'll go away from the, uh, the trio of rats and towards the front door here. Okay. you. The other rats aren't coming after me. There's nothing else out here that's gonna kill me. I think they saw some lost grace here? Yeah. Cool. Now let's kill the rest of the rats.
did it. With a little bit of health left to spare. No, you're not a problem. I'm not gonna bother you. Ooh, a whip. It is the requirements on the whip. We can use it. 14, strength 18. There are strengthens 8. It's about as good as the flail. No bleeding, though. The flail at level 1 was maybe slightly better than this. Dexterity D scaling. I'm kind of surprised by that one. Leather whip, not originally used for combat, but as an instrument of pain. Though, it is, though its supple attacks cannot be thwarted by parrying or even guarding, it is incapable of dealing critical hits. Ah, I see. Push an enemy back with a high kick, effective against enemies who are guarding, and can break a foe's stance. Sometimes a simple tool is the most effective. Okay. Although it's already good against guarding, so I don't know if kick is really a great... Ah, fuck it. We'll try it later, maybe. maybe when we're in familiar areas. Get that. Weird. We killed those rats. Let's just refresh at the grace. At the not bonfire. And continue on. Let's check out this tower. He's asleep. There's another one over there. So these guys will wake up if I wake them up. Oh, there are the top ones. Oh, it's just one of them is the tough ones. Okay. Can they climb ladders, is the question. Ring daggers. I climb to the top of that? There's a little red dude standing there. Ah, there we go. Is there something larger that's behind that wall? There's this red dude just hanging out in a cemetery. Just to lure me in. Oh, hello. Is your pathing broken? Whoa! <laughs> God damn it! I knew that was gonna happen. Uh... Okay. Well, it is one o'clock now, so I should probably just call it quits for now. Kind of does look like a humanity, just inverted. All right. Well, we're going to investigate that potential boss. What am I saying? Of course it's a boss. It's not a potential boss. It's, it's not a potential anything. It's just a boss. We're going to investigate that next time. But now, 
Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Hope you're enjoying the show so far. Take care.